And a newly released poll of likely Republican caucus goers in Iowa shows Ron Paul, Mitt Romney, and Newt Gingrich in a statistical tie for the lead. But Ron Paul still feeling the heat over newsletters written on his behalf some 20 years ago. Now there's a new wrinkle to this story. A solicitation for those newsletters has come to light, and it describes a race war, a gay cover-up, and a government conspiracy theory. Brian Todd gets us caught up. As he surges in the polls before Iowa, Ron Paul is again having to defend himself over language in a letter written on his behalf. We've reported recently and in previous campaigns how Ron Paul has disavowed newsletters with his name on them. Newsletters from the 1980s and 90s with racial insults toward African Americans and others. With those newsletters, Paul said he didn't write them, didn't know who did, and that he rarely read them. Now we're learning of a solicitation letter for those newsletters, not only written on Paul's behalf, but with what appears to be his signature on them. And the language is incendiary. In the direct mail letter, it warns of, quote, the coming race war in our big cities. It mentions, quote, the federal homosexual cover-up on AIDS, then says in brackets, my training as a physician helps me see through this one. It references the Israeli lobby, which plays Congress like a cheap harmonica. The letter is an effort to get people to send in money to subscribe to three newsletters put out by Paul, including one called Surviving the New Money, where they lay out what they say is a government conspiracy to track people through new currency. But unlike those letters, there's one item worth mentioning with this solicitation letter. This letter has Ron Paul's signature, indicating possibly a closer connection. The Reuters news agency, which first reported on this and obtained a copy of the letter, says this solicitation was written around 1993. Reuters says it got the letter from James Kerchick, contributing editor of the New Republic magazine. We contacted Ron Paul's campaign. In an email to CNN, campaign chairman Jesse Benton said, quote, Dr. Paul did not write that solicitation, and the signature is an auto pen. It does not reflect his thoughts and is out of step with the message he has espoused for 40 years. The campaign says Paul disavows the letter, abhors that content. They say there were multiple ghostwriters involved in writing all these letters and that Paul does not know who wrote the offensive material. But the campaign also says that because they appeared under his name, quote, he should have better policed it and that he has assumed responsibility and apologized. We also tried to find out whether Ron Paul's campaign is going to try to find out who wrote the letter and maybe admonish that person. We didn't hear back. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington.